All right, this is a quick video over the different types of stresses. Stress. And all stress, well, not talking about uh, biology, but just in mechanics, stress is just the force, force over area. Area. So uh, we'll start off with maybe a really basic one. Uh, tensile stress. So if we had a ball. This rope has some tensile force tensile force holding it up. So if you, every part of this rope feels the uh, approximately a hundred hundred newtons of force in it, so it's the uh, ball is pulling it down this way but there's another force that's countering it going that way. If we zoomed into a very small spot of it You'd always see this the rope is, no matter where you look in the rope, it's always being pulled apart. So if we then took the cross-sectional area of it, and what I mean is we cut the rope in half, and we're talking about this area. So we took the tensile force, divided it by that area. We would get the tensile sile stress. So again, that's just being pulled apart. Now, the opposite of that is compressive. So, uh, let's say instead we had a column holding up a, a 10 kilogram box. And so this 10 kilograms is pushing downwards, and the earth is pushing backwards towards it. So this is always being compressed or pushed. There's always two forces pushing together. So this is being compressed. So you have some compressive... Compress... Compressive force, and so that's that's whatever this. So this compressive force would be maybe I think it'd be approximately a hundred newtons. So that would be the compressive force. Now, if we divided it by the cross-sectional area, so again, just this cross-sectional area. Oops, area. We would get the compressive. Compressive stress. So you see that stress is all about the force divided by the area. So there's one more type of stress. One more. And we're going to say you have two walls or something. And in, then you have a box in here. Box. And then let's say you glue it. So you glue it here and here. And we'll still say, we'll say this weighs 100 kilograms. Now this is going down towards the Earth at maybe a force of uh, maybe 1,000 newtons. So this is a little bit different. This is shear because it's wanting to shear off, shear off, and go straight down. So it's kind of different from the other ones where it's compressive and tensile. This one's just wanting to, uh, um, I guess, put if you put your hands together and rub back and forth, you could technic maybe say that you're shearing your hands across each other. I mean, that's not the best term, but that's kind of what's doing is there, if you press them together and then you push them up, or try to rub them back and forth, you get the uh, shearing. So you have the shear force. Shear force. And we divide that, again, by the area. And what we're talking about is the area that's glued. That's glued. So if we look down this Let's say this was a tube, or say we had one wall here, another wall here, and we had the box. Box. We're talking about this area. So really we're just talking about this area over here and this area here. And that will give us the shear, oops, shear stress. Again, shear stress is just force divided by area. Or not, but... Stress is just force divided by area. So stress, again, is just force, force divided by area.